hello friends so far we have created one INIC app we have deployed that one in one android device very simple INIC app and we also implemented the push notification from firex to our android app but that was not a practical situation because of the admin will not come to the firex and log in there and he'll not going to write the message from there right so we'll need to give the opportunity to the admin user or someone to send the notification directly from our app or from any web application so let's do that one we will create one node server and we'll expose one api node api and that api will send the push notification and you can definitely expose that api endpoint uh, to your uh, application web application or android application or maybe ios application too so to do this let's come to the service accounts tab here in firebase and scroll down a bit you will see the node js implementation process so you need to install firebase admin just npm install and use it using require or import then you click on this one you can generate a key private key using this so copy this one copy this one and paste it in your node server folder anywhere if uh, you want so let me keep it in my root folder and then we need to initialize the app using this admin.credential.certificate certify now uh, to do this let's come to the node node section so it has the express body parser and this is the admin the firebase admin one and instead uh, instead using require we will import that one and this is the certificate and this is the key file we have downloaded and i'm reading it like using the file system read file uh, in my node 12 version it was giving problem for the import so i followed this approach using the file system we will read the file and assign the content the json content within this variable and then we will initialize the app and will certify with the same json data so that's it for the configuration part now we need to expose one api endpoint so this is this will be in our case send message where we will create a payload with the title of the message of the post notification and the content of the push notification so in my case title will be message from node.js header and body will be my first node.js message body so let's remove this one so this is the payload and for now we're going to send this message to a particular token that we have already used in our previous video the token for the android app which has been installed in my android device so this is the token we have already used uh, you will get it in this section uh, cloud messaging come to cloud messaging and click on the send your first message right we already have this message say test test this one we already have used this is the token now that's it on success we'll log uh, uh, we'll comment out the log section we'll just return the response to the subscriber section to the uh, ui and on case of error we'll send the error so that's it from the server configuration let's have a look at now to open the api endpoint here i have already opened it just hit this one again and let's see oh we have to start the server we missed to start the server so okay this is running in 8.2.2 port and this is our api endpoint send message okay so this is the output of the message and you will see we have received one notification in the mobile device so that is the same message we have sent so that's it how we should implement we can implement the push notification from node uh, from firebase using node using node.js and that will be sent from our web app or any mobile app so that's it for this video hopefully this will be helpful for someone